Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, and what's up? Hey everybody, I am Naturally Stacy, and welcome back to my channel, to all of my existing subscribers, and to all of my new subscribers, hello, welcome, get a drink, a snack, pull up a chair, and welcome to my hair adventures. Okay, as you guys can see by the title below, it's not above, it's below. I'm going to talk to you guys about the new foundation I have been wearing for like the past two months, month and a half, two months, which is the Mac Studio Water Weight SPF 30 Foundation, which is this right here. I'm going to get a close up for you guys. There you go. And this is one fluid ounce of foundation. I picked this up at Nordstrom. Like I said, I want to say it's been about two months or three months, actually, I think when I bought it. And then didn't start wearing it until like two months ago because I was still wearing another foundation. So I wanted to uh, test this out. Okay. Now, let me show you guys the foundation, how it comes out. I'm not going to show it too much. It has this little dropper right here. I'm not going to show it too, too much because I don't want to get it all over the place and waste it. Um, the color I am in this foundation, I am NC37. Um, I don't know what I am in the um, the rest of the MAC foundations. I was told when I got this to not be dead set on this color number because this color number is different than the their other foundations. So I may be a totally different number in other ones. I think I'm like a NC34 in the mineral foundation. They did not, I haven't used any of their other foundations before, as you guys know. This is my second, probably second MAC product I have in my collection. Um, when I use this product, I like to mix it with my two illuminators from NARS, which is Hot Sand and Copacabana. I actually mix these two together with the foundation to give myself a glow, with it, a back glow, basically, which... You might be able to see the glow in my skin right now, as you all can see the foundation. That's what I'm wearing right now. And um, as you all see, also, I need to go get more of these. <laughs> I need to go and re-up. And this is actually a really good foundation. I, when the girl was putting it on my face at Nordstrom, she told me she felt that this was like a step up to a uh, tinted moisturizer and when i had it on it it's how it felt to me to me it feels better when you apply it with your hands opposed to applying it with a brush to me when you apply it with the brush you can kind of feel it on your skin and i am one of those people i do not like my foundation i do not like to feel my foundation on my skin i like to um i like my foundation to be as light as possible um yeah somebody's behind me as you all can see say hi no no she doesn't want to say hi she's just chilling in her new spot so anyway it's i like this foundation because it's very lightweight on my skin and like i said i don't like heavy foundation it's not a full coverage because i do not wear full coverage foundation nothing against it i just don't wear it i don't feel the need for it and i don't like like i said i don't like the feel anything on my skin i like my all my makeup to be as light i like for you to see it but that's it i, I don't want i don't want to feel it and plus also my face is kind of sensitive at times i'll like things will pop up and gotta wash and do all that stuff so um i annotate the i will annotate the price on the screen i don't remember how much i pay for it i want to say 45 i'm probably wrong and um do i like this actually i do I actually like it it's very lightweight and it is one of those I will probably keep in my three. This is the number three of my three foundation rotation. Well, two foundation rotation. My third one, I have not tried the um, Makeup Forever, the new formula of the, the new formula foundation yet. That may probably be my next one after this runs out. I do not buy multiple foundations and try them. I'm not into doing that because... I'm, if I was heavy into makeup like that, I would. I'm not that heavy into it. So once I finish a foundation, I go to the next one. That's just how I am. Uh, yeah, like I said, I do like this foundation. It's very good. It's very lightweight. Um, and like I said, I would buy it again. So um, I'm not going to like overly rave about it because it, 
I'm not gonna say because it's foundation. I just I like it. It's a good foundation. And as you guys can see on my skin, it's not overly cakey. The only cakey stuff is everything that I put on top, like the powders and the blush and the highlight and all of that. That highlight though. So um like it's, everything that's cakey is just all the rest of the powders and stuff that I put on top of it. But this foundation is very light and it's very nice, and I will buy it again. So I'm going to get on out of here. I will put all the information for this at the bottom. If you have any questions, talk to me on the bottom. If you want to talk to me on my social media and follow me and all of that, you can. I am on Twitter at Handbag Fanatic. That was my original Instagram name. But on Instagram, I am at Naturally Stacy. Also, you can talk to me here. If you like seeing videos like this, please thumbs up. Please thumbs up, hit the red subscribe button so you can see this video and videos app before this and after. There you go. So I'm going to get out of here. It is Black Friday. So you all know people are into the madness. I was out in it earlier and it wasn't that bad here in St. Louis. Thank God. I think part of it is because it's rainy and cold and a lot of people did stuff online, which, which that's all I've been doing. So let me get out of here. Talk to y'all later. Love, peace, peace, love, peace, love, peace, and hair products and beauty too. <laughs> Bye.